Hi everyone, I am Vijay Pavitran from Nasala Manikram from class 48 in SMK San Michael Ipo. Today in this video, I am going to tell to you what are the ways to make a bread and what is the process involved behind making of bread. Let's see. The process that you have to know is fermentation. Fermentation is the incomplete breakdown of glucose in limited or no oxygen conditions. It is divided into two, lactic acid fermentation and alcoholic fermentation. Under alcoholic fermentation also divided into two, which is yeast fermentation and plant fermentation. But in this PBL, we are going to carry out the yeast fermentation to make the bread. The equation of the yeast fermentation as follows. Glucose produces ethanol plus carbon dioxide and also energy without the oxygen. The ingredients you have to need are 3 over 4 cup of milk, 1 teaspoon of salt, 3 tablespoon of sugar, 2.25 tablespoon or 7 gram of yeast, 4 cup or 500 gram of maida in Tamil, in English it is known as flour, 4 tablespoon or 50 gram of butter, 1 over 2 cup or 122 milliliter of water, and finally 2 tablespoon of oil. As you can see the ingredients are already on the right of your image. The first step you will be adding 3 tablespoon of sugar and yeast in milk and we have to make sure the milk is at suitable temperature because the yeast may not activate it if the milk is very hot and the sugar that we added is the food for the yeast after mixed with it let it rest for 5 minutes so that the yeast can carry out alcoholic fermentation as you can see the milk has risen up after 5 minutes because of the activation of the yeast the next step is we will Take 4 cups of flour in a bowl to make the bread dough. Add 1 tablespoon of salt, 4 tablespoon of softened butter which is at room temperature with the dough. And add the milk which is already mixed with the yeast and 1 or 2 cup of water and more if it is required. Mix them well until they are combined. While you are kneading, it may seem sticking to your hand now. After kneading, the perfect non-sticky duff is obtained. As you can see in the image, I obtained it after nearly 15 minutes of kneading it using my hand. But it can be kneaded using a hand or flour mixture for 10 to 15 minutes. But I suggest you to use your hand because it will be a great exercise for you during this COVID-19 epidemic. After kneading it, Transfer the dough to a greased bowl, which is I'm trying to say, apply some oil on the surface of the bowl and also apply some oil on the dough too, to prevent it from drying. The fourth step, we will be covering the bowl using a cover sheet. Why we are going to cover it? As you can see in the image, we are going to let it rest until it doubles in size, which takes approximately one and a half to two hours. Whew. After waiting for 2 hours, transfer the dough to the work surface. But now guys, listen to this very carefully. You have to spread the dough into a square sheet and press the dough very gently. Roll it slowly and form a cylinder shape as how I did in the image. Then grease the bread pan with oil, which is I'm trying to say, take the pan from the oven and grease it with oil and place the dough on it. Spread few drops of oil on the top of dough to prevent it from drying. And you can proof it again until it doubles in size. It may take half an hour. After 30 minutes, preheat the oven with 338 Fahrenheit or 170 degrees Celsius. Remove the cover from the bread pan and you can observe that the dough expands compared to the original one. Bake it in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes. Before that, remember to apply some oil on the surface of the bread. You may ask why we are going to apply oil again. As oil is purely fat, it provides moisture for bread while baking. Even though butter is an excellent fat option for baking in terms of flavor and texture, oils can make a bake that is just as rich and flavorful as its buttery contemporaries. Just a small info guys, after you have been using the oven, you can see the bread may be cooked more or less if you have followed my steps. Why this happened? This is because the 
oven in your house may be different with the oven in my house in terms of brand and specific heat capacity. Huh? What is specific heat capacity? Specific heat capacity is the total amount of heat energy required to change the temperature by 1 degree Celsius for a mass of 1 kg substance. For example, uh, let's take a cup. Just imagine it, it has 1 kg. Now the question is, how much heat energy I am going to give to it so the temperature may increase by 1 degree Celsius and that is called as specific heat capacity and it is measured in unit joule and that is why the oven in your house may be have high specific heat capacity although specific heat capacity compared to the oven in my house. To avoid that you have to do the bread using the same oven twice or thrice so you can get the right temperature to cook the bread and after 25 minutes of baking take out the bread pan from the oven apply some butter on the top of the bread and immediately place the bread on the wire rack for cooling once it completely cooled cut into slices as your wish now it is ready to be eaten with your strawberry jam mango jam or coconut jam but i agree the bread that you gonna make will be delicious tasty and mouth watering but the bread that i made um <clears throat> uh, okay uh, good to eat and that's all guys the video is about how to make the bread on yourself during this covid 19 pandemic using your homemade products and i'm sure that you won't understand the process if you watch this video once only so please watch this video again and again until you understand and please leave a comment if you didn't understand about the video and thanks for watching and please like share comment thank you